500 years of fashion at Chatsworth. It's one of the most amazing exhibitions I've ever seen. Room after room, it's something different to discover. It's an embarrassment of riches. It's a quest for excellence that is very much alive in the 21st century. You cannot believe the workmanship and the skill and thought that has gone into even the tiniest of objects. Craftsmanship is something I find really interesting and here at Chatsworth there's plenty of it. Really good quality craftsmanship. You look at the clothes that Stella Tennant has worn and they're the finest examples of avant-garde fashion, haute couture creation. John Galliano's Dior dress, it's an astonishing thing, it's so wide. A dress like that, you put it on in a beautifully dilapidated old house up in Northumberland and you're creating some cross between Galliano, Cecil Beaton but contemporary at the same time. There are several examples of absolutely beautifully crafted and realised jewels. That is Deborah. She loved her jewels uh, as part of her persona. My grandfather gave her a jeweled insect for every birthday that they were married. So that ended up as quite a big collection. She'd cover her clothes with them. She was like a wa walking sort of bug empire. These uh, brooches were made of very precious ruby, diamond, uh, craftsmanship, enormous. Result, fabulous. If you put the best with the best, it doesn't matter if it was made yesterday or in the 17th century. I found this wonderful book by Maria Sibylla Merian. She went to Suriname in the early 18th century and drew the plants, the insects that feed on them, and the relationship between the two, which then inspired Alessandro Michele at Gucci. Alessandro asked if he could design a dress for my mother-in-law and I. We thought about it really hard and then said yes. <laughs> they reflect the spirit of the house splendor and quirky charm allied. And again, you have this sense of the finest workmanship, which is reflected in every little object in this house.